Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, the market has broken or Ethereum has broken below the ascending trend line on our chart. That is an early signal that we might deal here with a deeper pullback. However, we have not broken the key level that I mentioned in the last videos. And remember, um, breaking below that level will only really be the first indication that a top has formed. At the moment, um, there is literally only a break of a trend line, but I consider a break of a trend line less reliable than, for example, an invalidation point like this one at 2188. Um, and therefore, yeah, I don't pay too much attention to this. However, obviously observing, we're watching for um, a potential top in this area. Yeah, That's basically very consistent with the previous analysis. There's literally no change. Um, I explained to you that the chart has formed a pretty, pretty nice five wave move to the upside of the 2000 uh, of the um, what is it 12th of uh, October lows. Yeah, five waves up of the lows. And yeah, I mean, it can still extend higher, of course. Okay. So, um, but what I shared with you was that I want to see a first break below 2188 to really have a first indication we have topped. Now, we haven't got that, okay? Um, and therefore, there is literally no signal that we've topped. So, not yet. Of course, it's coming down deep now for what could be a way for. I've taken the micro count of the chart. I mean, this could still be some kind of a one two setup again. You know, there are many options and therefore I highlighted, look, it needs to be that 2188 level for a first indication that we've topped. At the moment, we've got a small retracement here um, all the way down to the golden ratio pretty much shows a, a small reaction. But at the moment, it's it's only three waves down. OK, so I can only count a corrective move down so far. Yeah, I mean, that can turn into a five wave move, but I only have three waves down and we're still holding above the key level. So yeah, not much um, not much to say about, okay, you know, we might have topped at least not much that would add to probabilities that we have topped, only really that initial break of the trend line. Um, the market might retest it now from below and yeah surely i mean it might extend further to the downside and literally we want that at some point yeah i'd like to see that wave two pullback that corrective pullback after a wave one has topped um because it gives us some clarity about where we are in the chart if a chart just keeps going i mean we can just all we can do is to roll up the support level which is fine but it is nice if we have some kind of a landmark on the chart, you know, some kind of a um, yeah noticeable retracement that gives us guidance about where we are. Because if you only have these microstructures, you know, it's it's a bit tricky. But anyway, um, so there is there are potential extensions still from here, of course. Yeah, you know? but as I said, the first indication would be a break below two one eight eight. I have intentionally not put the wave five here because I want to leave it open. Yeah. Um, again, this could be a one, two setup and then we could get another third, four, five. So it could still move higher. Um, and a first indication yeah, that we have bottomed here somewhere would be a break above that last swing high at $2,285. You might also add here this trend channel. So there's a corrective trend channel that we can add here to the chart, maybe even a bit of a wedge pattern. That's more of a channel. So once we see a break above that corrective price channel, it might also indicate, you know, that we have bottomed and that we get another extension higher. For now, I'm just observing this for potential signals that we have topped. Once we have topped yeah, and I have initial indications, um, then I will very closely observe the nature of the decline. And um, I mean, I can give you support as well, just in case the wave two pullback is indeed unfolding, then we would be dealing with support between 1969 
and 1664. But yeah, I think I think late. I mean, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow we know a little bit more. But until then, we just have to be a little bit patient. Seems to be in a short-term decline here at the moment. Yes, selling pressure coming in. It did that here as well. We start to see divergences on the. Let's see. Do we see divergences on the daily? Yeah, we see already bearish divergences on the daily. So we'll see. I think tomorrow we'll know a little bit more. Um, it's now obviously at a key pivot, yeah, because it has reached that key target we wanted it to reach above 2,200. It has done what it needs to do structurally. So now it's a bit of a wait and see. Okay, that's my update about ETH. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.